an amazing player and we've seen him time and again but he's in the losers bracket both of these players the only one of them can make it through yeah and they're very familiar with each other too so this should be very interesting and Naroma also another player that has joined the dark side yes. alongside these he is on the Steve Fox train yeah Steve has gotten a lot more popular recently it could be due to me picking him up who knows but wow missed counter there and what a round. Yeah, and you know, a lot of players are starting to see, you know, the compact nature of Steve being able to control with his big hook, the, da the back one, yes. his down forward two, restricting motion and movement from a lot of the bigger swinging characters. It has so much to come into play. And you gotta look, the way that is gonna be approaching this matchup, it's all about how Chikorin adjusts. Yeah, another factor I think is that everyone loves to watch Steve. Steve is a really fun character. He's got a lot of interesting moves. And even at a high level, people love to watch Steve players win, so it's very exciting to watch. Second okay. hit, the wall pressure. Uh, yeah, he keeps it there. How do you use the max mode? Again, trying to keep it that pressure, but right now he's in the red. Wow. And Steve could be very, very dangerous here, especially with the big counter hit. That's gonna punish. It's yeah. fast enough. Oh, very nice. It is fast enough. That fastest rage yard in the game, able to close it out, and look at that. Let's see how much life we're left with. One, One. more mix up. He's gonna, he's gonna chill, he's gonna wait for the opportunity. Oh, there it is, Noroma. Fox back, goes to the big low. It's not, man, it's looking pretty one-sided here. Yeah, this is impressive from Noroma. Uh, I think that as far as performance, Noroma would be the upset if he wins here, right? At least oh, yeah. this year. Chikorin, especially internationally, has performed the best. He's won very, yeah, WCW very strong. Career. He's won, and he's just, this would be an upset. Oh. Wow. Changing it up here, starting to use uh, standing four as well. It's almost like Chikurin can hear us. Yeah, he better Ooh. not be listening or studying my notes. Hell no. All right, That's Noroma my trying oh. to make this comeback here. He's got the red stuff. Access to two different rage drives. It's crazy. I mean, there's yeah. one. And that's probably one of the craziest rage drives in the game, too. Yeah, very good. You know, Naroma, when he started off, he was traditionally a jack player, right? Yeah. So now shifting over to a quicker, more nimble character, it's completely opening up Definitely. his play style. And maybe people aren't used to how Naroma moves because he couldn't move before. Right, yeah. He's able to display his advanced movement when he picks these normal characters. Yeah. With Jack, he's kind of stuck with his timing and defense and his spacing as far as backdashing. You know, and I'll say that, you know, for a lot of the characters that are kind of restricted movement-wise, whether it's, you know, Eddie Gordo, Panda, Kuma, mm -hmm. and even Jack, yeah. you you have to think, there's a common trait from all those players, especially when they're at the top of their game. Their defense is immaculate. Yes. Their and defense and their spacing. And it's because right. they're forced to learn how to block. Right, They're exactly. forced to learn how to read certain situations. Most certainly, the backdashing, the timing on crouch and low parry. Oh yeah. That really is what changes the matchup. Okay, here we go. Once again in the jungle. Round one. Fight. All right, All right. started off here in the follow-up, and let's see how this is going to play out again. He's starting to use the down forward, too. And look at this running pressure here from Moroba. Oh, yes. Peekaboo stance. Already a factor here. Wow, such staggered gameplay from Noroma. Really interesting. Oh, Good duck. And that's the thing, I like how Chikorin is going for the momentum. He's going for the knockdowns as well. Other players are just going for the 1-1-2, one, one, but Chikorin... Wow, chooses to go for a crouch there, getting clipped. Oh, and gets both hits there. Hey, look at this. Here we go. Burns the meter. What's and he going to do with it? That's probably one of the scariest mix ups too, is when you block the knee into the max mode cancel, what is he going to do out of it? Yeah, when Geese doesn't have meter, his options on opening up the opponent are just so much more limited. And wow, that's going to kill. Wow. Nice work. Great stuff there. 14 frame rage drive. Able to capitalize, of course. It is safe, and it creates a mix up of his own. Okay, here's the punish. Gets the knockdown. Wake ups. Oh, what a duck there. Ooh, and man. that's it's so scary to duck against, you know, yeah. Geese's down forward one strings. That was awesome. Nice work. Coming in. The move choices. Sidestep. Okay. Oh, underneath that with the big launcher. Yeah. We're going downtown. Nice skyscraper, of course, from Naroma. He's going to push to the other side. Chikorin. He breaks it. Chikorin might be on his last legs here. He's going to have to. He doesn't oh use it. No punish. It's one of those things sometimes yeah. you expect the unexpected, right? Noroma is on the cusp of Round sending three. Chikurin home. Yeah. <laughs> Chikurin has some meter here. He's going to have some opportunities, but right now, Steve is just smothering Whoa, him. Albatross. Albatross into the mid. 
Oh, look at this. Okay, oh. counter hit. And maybe that's what he needs. Maybe that's the big hits that he needs to get in the matchup. This is going to be big. Wall break. Oh, yes. Die. Going the other way. Remember, the ground throw pushes you to the other side of the stage. Okay, he's got the red stuff. Once again, Rage Drive is a huge factor here. And as I mentioned it, we're going to get the wall, and this could be enough. Oh, that is going to definitely is. be enough. Noroma defeating Chikurin in a decisive 2-0. It's all about the clutch. Wow. Shot. He had two big rage drives at the end when he was about to die, and that just kind of sealed the deal, especially when you're near the walls. And Chikurin just seemingly got counter hit through almost everything. Yeah, there. I mean, we, we were mentioning before the match,